you know, I started getting excited about writing again. So, you know, it's, you know writing has uh, been a part of, you know, my life uh, for since I was a kid. So, you know, it just uh, at some point I knew I would I would get another ride and start uh, getting back on the scene here and there. So this is my reintroduction. special photo shoot today an interview with uh, somebody who's been a big inspiration for us since I think high school days um, you probably heard of the uh, Black Sunday album and Temples of Boom and Dr. Green Thumb so uh, we're super excited and stoked that after many years of actually trying to meet with this gentleman um, it's finally happening today at SNM Customs who've just built their his latest lowrider so we're meeting frontman of Cypress Hill be yeah. real it's uh, we're super excited super nervous it all in one a bit like we did with Jay Leno about a week ago yes but uh, we're just super stoked to be able to share some time with him, find out about his story, why he's into low riders, find out about his latest uh, project, which looks absolutely beautiful. So look out throughout the day, a few more images on Insta stories, maybe some live footage. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy what we're gonna bring you, uh, yeah, in a few hours. Special guest today, obviously we're out here in California near Los Angeles, SM Customs and very special guest Be Real from Cypress Hill. Hello thank, there. Thank you for allowing us to spend some time with you today. Thank you for some photographs of your beautiful new project. It looks amazing. And can you tell us just a little bit about the project? Um, you know, I've been uh, you know, doing cars for a minute and uh, you know part of I was part of Lifestyle Car Club along with Louie over there. And uh, you know, pretty much came up together. I dropped out for a while because you know my touring schedule and stuff like that, and sold off all my cars. And you know, at at, uh, at some point, I got bitten by the bug again. And uh, you know, Louis helped me find this this gem right here. I like the big big cars. You know, big boats. Yeah. This is, this is a big boat right here. So, um, you know, once he started putting it together and started uh, you know, getting closer to it, you know, I started getting excited about riding again. So, you know, it's, you know riding has uh, been a part of, you know, my life uh, for since I was a kid. So, you know, it just uh, at some point I knew I would I would get another ride and start uh, getting back on the scene here and there. So this is my reintroduction. What I originally came in was with the 65 uh, Ragtop and uh, 57 Bel Air, which I called Nice Dreams. I got further along with my Bel Air than I did with my 65. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was the car that I was in Lifestyle Car Club with. I flew the plaque in that, that car and I, you know, 
did a few of the low rider car shows placed um, won a couple of trophies with that car uh, but that was over 20 years ago or over 15 years ago sorry um, so you know it'd been quite some time since you know I had a car that uh, you know put in a show or that I you know flew a plaque on or anything like that so this is the reintroduction we'll see where it goes but you know I the, Dr. Green Thumb had to have one, so here she is. <laughs> Absolutely, and if there's one question I'd love to ask you is, what does low rider mean to you? Because uh, we've met a lot of good guys like uh, Mr. Cartoon and obviously Louis, uh, Esteban Oriol, good friends of ours, and for them, this kind of read their whole life. Is that something yeah. that you would say the same for you? There are um, guys that have, have spent their lives building the cars, you know, that's what they put 100% focus on, and you know if you hear from a lot of the cars with the radical customs and even even this you know um sometimes their car is their you know their their other personality what they you know the loudness that their car speaks that's really who they are inside so you know it's it's um you know everybody takes uh the process very passionately you know from the picking the color to the interior to you know, making the decision on what you want to do with your engine, powder coating, doing the, the chrome uh, pieces on the engine and chroming the undercarriage and all that stuff. It's all things that take time and you have to be patient, but it's something that you're going to have to want to do now. And then after that, you have to decide, am I going to put the car on the turntable? Is it going to go mild custom because I want to drive it? Because after you put all that nice shit on there, and believe me, it costs some money to do so. You have to clean it up after you know you drive it if you're going to show it. So, it you know, there's guys that have been doing this for over 20 years, faithfully, lo you know, loyal to their cars, you know, at the detriment of relationships with their families and whatnot, and friends because you know you put a lot into the car. You know, this is some people's life. You know, that's what they work for. All my fucking car the one possession that's like me, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So a lot of people take what, what they have inside, like what their personality is, and they put it upon their car, and uh, that's what you get. A lot of these guys are artists. Not just the guys who paint the car, but the guys who have the concept for the car. You know, like, what do I want my car to be? What do I want it to say? You know what I mean? Because there's concept cars, and then there's just custom cars. So, you know, it's it's all upon the path you go on. You know, me, I never went fully radical. I have a few concepts, but man, you have to have time to put into that. Mm -hmm. And you have to be here when everything's being done so that, you know, everything is to your specs. You know, for, unfortunately for me, I spend half of my life traveling, so I can't be here for that process. So if something goes wrong, I come back, look at it, Hopefully it gets done when I come back. It's right when I come back, you know. Yeah. So it's kind of hard with the concept car, but something that I'm just gonna hit the street with. Yeah. Perfect, you know what I mean? Because I can still show it. I don't gotta put it on the turntable. It looks clean. And uh, some of us just want to ride and show the car. Some of us just want to build crazy ass cars and not drive them because they're too pristine. You know what I mean? That's true. Well, so if there would be no sleep for you anymore and you viably wouldn't need it really, what would be really your passion? Music or cars? So, I mean, I grew up with both, so it's kind of hard to split. It goes but, hand in hand? Yes, it goes hand in hand. But if, you know, if there, if there was a gun to my head, it's music. Because, you know, that, that, that was, uh, it was the second love. But it's what pays the bills. <laughs> very true. I can understand that. Thank well, you. Thank you very much. Thank you for hanging out with us. It's been a pleasure.